Hello? Oh, hello. I'm calling from Michael Weinstein. Who's this? Uh, this is Chris Tompkinson from Google. Yeah, hi. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, I just want to let you know that we had re received your request to uh, have your number uh, removed from that page, and uh, it'll be off of there within a couple of days. <laughs> you know, this is going on for seven months. Oh, well, I'm very sorry about that. I just want to let you know that we've taken care of it. Yeah, how'd you get my... How, how did you get the information? Where'd you? Who are you, from media? Uh, no, the, the news had called us and let us know about the problem. Yeah, you're from Google Media. That was almost a month ago. Yeah, we... we I'm getting 25 phone calls every single day. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry about that. We get a lot of... I got a lot of 14 phone calls midnight last night. 14. 14. Wow. I've done it online, and nobody's done anything. They were nasty as hell to me. I have an 88-year-old mother-in-law that's been getting phone calls 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm calling... Until... I was just calling to let you know that... We, I was just calling to let you know that we finally taken care of it for you. I, yeah, finally, after seven months. Yeah, well, I, I was just hoping you'd appreciate it, though. Appreciate it? I've had a heart attack since then. I, I'm serious. I got medical records. Uh huh. Because of Google? Because I'm getting aggravated. I see. Because every time I call, there's no tech support. Oh yeah, we. Nobody does anything. We, do, we don't have tech support here or Google. Well, I know. I, hey, I know that, and the receptionist hung up on me ten million times. Oh really? Uh huh. And she said, "Too bad. You can't. I can't do anything." I asked to speak to a supervisor. Nobody spoke to me. Yeah, but we are taking... It's a little ridiculous the way you run your, your program there. Yeah, well, this is what happened is we, we let the janitor help us with putting phone numbers in, and he, he put your number in instead of the courthouse. Like, he was out... The janitor. Yeah, he was out there mopping, and I'm just like, you know, you, you can help us, but... Because we were short-staffed that day. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Chris Tompkinson. Chris Tompkinson? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm with uh, Google in Virginia. And you're from Google. What is a direct? Is there a direct phone number for for you if, in case you know nothing gets done? Because I still get phone calls. I've gotten so many phone calls today. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna take. It's, it's gonna take. A, out of hand. It's gonna take a couple days for it to kind of cycle through, and and then it'll be fixed, and your number won't be on there anymore. That's fine. Yeah, but is there a direct number for you? I don't want to give you that because I, I don't like getting strange. Well, uh, why not? I don't like getting calls all day from people I don't know. Well, you won't get calls all day. I just want to know, just so I have it on record. Oh. Actually, April Fools. I'm not really Google. Hehe, <laughs> isn't that funny? We're, we're not fixing anything. It was all just a joke. Do you get it? Who the fuck are you, man? I'm, I'm an April Fools prankster. Oh, you are. Huh? Uh huh. Do you think it's funny? You're a fucking asshole if you're not from Google. Hello, this is Chris Tompkinson from Google East. I'm away from my desk right now. If you will leave your name and phone number, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, Mr. Chris, you know, I don't think that was kind of funny. I got it on recording, and you know something? I got a lawsuit against you guys, and you're gonna make, you're gonna pay for it for what you just did. I swear to God, you are gonna pay for it. Hello? You know something that was not funny. I thought it was funny. That really wasn't. Chris. It's April Fools. I don't think so. I don't care. That wasn't funny. I thought. I'm serious. That was not a joke well, on what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. You really don't. I'm sorry. I thought it would break. I had to get the pol. Hey, listen, pal. I had to get the police here the other night because I've been getting phone calls all night. Uh huh. And the stupid thing is is that you called me with a caller ID from PA, uh -huh. and then you do this game. I, I thought it would brighten up your day oh. with, like, an April Fool's joke. No, April it did not brighten up my day. It got me a little bit more pissed off. Oh. It really did. I, I, thought, I thought it would help you. No, nothing will help me when, when I'm going through for the past seven months, and nobody's helping me from Google. How come you don't, why don't you change your number? Why should I change my number? I have the number first. Well, that way you 
<laughs> janitor entered it wrong. It's not my fault. Well, I, it's not my fault. He's an idiot. That's why I guess. Hey, let that's me ask that's you why something. he's a janitor. Let me ask you something. Listen, Chris. Let me ask you something. If I buy a house, somebody comes over to me and says, "Hey, you got to move out." Do I have to move out? It's my house first. Why should I change my number when I had it first, and I got hundreds of people that have my number, and Google wouldn't even change it, even though I did it on the computer for three months? That seems like it'd be a lot easier than going through all this. Say that again. It, it, it seems like it'd be a lot easier than than putting up with all this, like all the phone calls. Oh, I shouldn't have to change my number. You guys should enter it correctly. You know something? My number is not even close to what the courthouse number is. Yep. Yeah, not even close. I'm not even with Google, though. It was an April Fool's joke. I was just kidding around. <laughs> yeah, when I called back, it said you were from Google. That was part of the joke. Oh, well, part of the joke on your recorder. You know something? Uh -huh. I have a lawsuit, and you guys are screwed, and I got your number, I got your name, uh -huh. and you did the wrong thing, pal. I'm telling you. You did the wrong what, thing! What, playing an April Fool's joke on April 1st? Listen, son of a bitch. I'm telling you, listen. You did the wrong thing. I ain't playing games here. Well, every... What do you think, I went on the news for nothing? Oh, of course. I went on the news for my health? <laughs> I have an 88-year-old mother-in-law that needs phone calls at 7 o'clock in the morning? And you play this stupid joke? You should turn off the ringer. You know something? You should shut your mouth because you're in trouble now. I'm telling you. Your name is on my list. Goodbye. How, Don't call how me. How big's your list? Cactus. 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 I'm playing games. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You gotta be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 This is gonna be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You bone smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? <laughs> Hello everybody, you're listening to The Snowplow Show, episode 627. This is the April Fool's show, but the joke is that it wasn't released yesterday, it's being released today, on the 2nd. I actually started the calls in today's show yesterday, I was hoping to get a show out yesterday and it just didn't happen. And the main reason was because the grouchy old man clips that you heard on the beginning of today's show... I'm pretty sure April 1st, 2020 was the 10 year anniversary of calling that guy. It might have been 2009, but I'm pretty sure it was 2010. Oh wait, I know how to figure that out. I'm gonna check right now. I'm gonna look at the phone show archives. And yeah, there it is. Wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. The phone show episode titled Grouchy Old Man came out on March 30th, 2010. Did I not actually do the pranks on April 1st? I thought I did. I don't know. I haven't even listened to the clips. Maybe I didn't say April Fool's. I thought I did. But there is a show a week later on April 6th, 2010, where Grouchy Old Man figures out who we are and gets his revenge on us by constantly pranking the phone show throughout the entire show. And it's pretty amazing. Hopefully that's up somewhere where you can hear it. I'll try to put a link to it if it is. It was a pretty amazing show, though, where he just kept calling and harassing us the entire time. It's too bad I don't have his number anymore. It'd be so great to call him up and say, Hey, ten years ago I prank called you. I just wanted to apologize. This show is brought to you by Lord and Lady of Veggies, Omni, Christine. She has an exclamation point after her name. I feel like I'm supposed to scream it. Audi Love and the Real Crazy Kraz. Thanks all of you for sponsoring this episode. And if anyone out there would like to also support the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. I have an update from the last episode about those HOA people that were not actually HOA people. I was trying to draft them into our HOA. 
Uh, on the last show, I said that they, you know, something had been posted on Facebook, so they got warned about me, but I guess the admins kept deleting people's posts about the calls, which is weird. You'd think they'd want people to know that someone's calling and impersonating them. But who fart did said, one post I caught before it was deleted read, we have been getting that call in the area I was calling. He must have finished our neighborhood. It's a prank call from 420-6969. Someone called the number back and the guy said people use his number a lot for scams as a prank. Apparently you had an accidental final boss. So that's pretty great. It was probably me in the past that's used 420-6969. And I see a few other comments. He sent me a screenshot here. If you have an iPhone, you can make it so it goes straight to voicemail when someone calls you that isn't in your contacts. Yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for the update. Who fart did? Oh, I get it. Who farted? I'm just now noticing that. I'm so slow. Uh, remember, in the last show, or maybe the show before, I mentioned that I did a show with Daisy, and Daisy was taking her time about putting it up. I guess she's not going to put it up on her Patreon or Mixler or whatever. And Devin put it on her Patreon. I don't know if you have to have access to see it to listen to that one. I just remember that there was another Chris Hansen call on that one between me and Daisy and Devin. I can't remember exactly what happened. That was a show from March 23rd, 2020. And I am posting a link in the show notes to that episode right now on Devin's Patreon. And one other announcement before we get started. Neon did a show on Saturday night, a little bit after the Dwight show. She only does a show like maybe once a year, and I usually don't catch it. But I actually got to catch this one live. It was a lot of fun. Everybody should go listen to it. I'm pretty sure it's on her website or it's on her Mixler showreel page or maybe her Patreon. Her website is at 976neon.com. Go listen and then tell her how awesome it was so that maybe she'll do more shows. I told her she's required to do at least two shows a year, not just one, maybe three. It's a family joke. 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 I'm 78 years old. My daughter is into criminal law. They protected me. 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 I see squirrels, I see birds, I see dogs, cats, raccoons, possums, play joke, it's a family joke, and the other daughter deals with fraud. I talk to the animal, I talk to the animal, I talk to the animal, it's a family joke, it's a family joke, joke. I got a list in my email today from Toiny Toiny, and he says he wants me to prank his neighbors. They are all working from home and very dependent on the internet at the moment. I have selected some characters that will put up a fight and attached their info in a text file. Can you say the internet will be out for a few days for all of these people? Our ISP is me connection, or no, my connection. It's spelt weird. So, okay, yeah, sure, I'd love to tell people that we're shutting off their internet. And you must really know your neighbors well if you know that they're all working from home. Yes? Oh, hello? Hello? Russ? Hello? What the hell, Russ? He didn't even say hello. Maybe he, like, said hello and then hit the button. Because Russ sucks at answering telephones. You have reached 88. Please leave a message at the beep or to reach Julie. Try 904. Oh, there we go. There's Julie's cell phone, I guess. Let's just give Julie a try. Hello? Hi, Julie. Yes. Hey there. Uh, th this is Steve Dave from My Connection. Yes. Uh, it's calling to let you know we're going to be shutting off your internet for a few days. Uh, what's going on? Uh, we're we're just going to be doing some maintenance. Just thought we'd shut yours off for a little while just to kind of decre decrease the flow of traffic. Well, I've got three people working from home, so... Oh, not anymore, because we're going to have to... What? She's going to hang up on me, too. All right, I'm giving up on this family. I officially hate your neighbors, Russ and Julie, 2020. Not really off to the best start here. Let's try the next people, David and Meredith. 
The number you have reached is not in service. Aww. Hello? Hi, Kathy? Who's coming? This is Steve Dave. I'm with uh, My Connection, the internet. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're just going to be shutting your internet off for a couple of days here. We're just doing some maintenance. So we're just going to be shutting down the internet. Where? Uh, your house. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you know how, you know what the internet is. We we provide you with your internet. Yes. Okay, we're turning it off for just uh, three or four days tops. So I'm just calling to let you know that's why your internet's not going to work for the next three or four days. W- what address are you shutting it off at? At your address, one six. I don't have Continuum. You have you have the My Connection. Hold on one moment. Okay, ma'am. Hello? Neil, you need to talk to Kathy about her attitude. I'm just calling to let her know that we're shutting off your hey internet. Buddy. Hey, buddy. What? Hey, buddy. What? Fuck you. What? Why would you say that to your internet provider? Fuck you. I'm all right. Look, I don't want to have to turn you off your back. internet permanently. You call back again, and I'm going to kill you. What? No, you can't do that through the phone. Killing someone over the phone only works in movies. I'm pretty sure. So the last two on the list, I've already tried to call them several times, and a lot of the numbers were disconnected. Sorry, the mailbox is full, and there is not enough space to. Leave. Dorn, Brad and Karen will not pick up their phone, or they're not home, or something. They're disobeying the quarantine. Hello. We are unavailable to take your call. Please leave a... And still no answer from Patricia. So I will hold on to these two numbers and try them back later. Maybe later tonight or something. Thanks for those, 2020. Oh, here's a great request. Hello, Brad. Snowplow show people. I've been hit with a call from a marine recruiter at freaking 8 p.m. for my community college who was a dick. After not showing interest, he told me I probably do drugs and that's why I didn't want to join. He seems like it goes on for a little while, but guess what? There's no phone number. Mr. Weslington69, you forgot to put a phone number in the request. Or actually, he purposely didn't send a phone number. He said, if you're interested in making this happen, I will provide you with a phone number and his Instagram where he's basically doxed himself like a fucking idiot. What, by having his real name? (laughs) Isn't that normal? But anyway, Weslington69, you got to send the phone number if you want me to do a request. I'm not going to reply to you and be like, why, yes, I would like the phone number of this pushy Marine recruiter. You know, a couple of years ago, I kept having a Marine recruiter call me from a local number trying to get me to sign up for the military. I explained to him that I'm really, really old. He's like, oh, that's okay. We let old people in the Marines. Like he seriously wanted me to sign up for boot camp, I guess, when I'm old as shit. And he was super pushy about it, too. He wouldn't take me off of his list. Every time he'd call me, I'd say, please, just take me off your list, okay? Not joining the Marines. Here's a request from Bobby. He says, my father, Bob, was a store manager at a grocery store for 18 years. As a kid, I used to watch his employees drink Pepto-Bismo before entering his office for a one-on-one meeting. And then eventually they leave his office crying, even the men. Five years after retirement, he became a semi-truck driver, driving a flatbed semi-truck all over the U.S. He is mostly in the South this time of year. You need to call him and tell him he needs to learn how to park his semi. Tell him to be a real man, drive an enclosed trailer, which he hates. Tell him it should be easier to park a flatbed trailer, especially with nothing on it. We'll get him fired up. Here's his phone number below. And he drives for, he gives me the trucking company name. Should I call as the trucking company? Like, yeah, people keep calling the 800 number on the back of your truck. Oh, wait, he doesn't have a back of the truck. It's a flatbed. Hello. Hello, Bob. Yes. Hey there. Uh, This is Steve Dave from Verizon Wireless. Yes. Hey, we were noticing that your, um, your phone has mostly been in states that, you know, are away from your home area code. Were you wanting to go ahead and change your phone number to something in the, in the south? Oh, I I see what you're saying, but uh, no, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, it doesn't? No. 
So you don't want to change your number? Nah. Okay, because we we were noticing like on the GPS, um, it, it's showing that you're just doing a lot of driving out of state. Well, I always did. I well, I drive a truck. Oh, a semi. Yes. Like an enclosed trailer semi. No, a flatbed. Oh, a flatbed. Okay, we were thinking the enclosed trailer might have been affecting the GPS signals because we've been having troubles looking at your location. But, um, so you drive a, a flatbed, that's, wow. I thought real men drove in closed trailers. But I, I don't know a whole lot about trucking. I just, that just was my perception. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm never in one state anyway for very long, so my phone number doesn't really matter where it's at. And I haven't had any trouble making calls. Oh, well, that's good. We, we're just having, like, I was looking at your GPS history and... I, I I did notice that you were parking at truck stops, but like according to these GPS patterns here, it looks like you can't park for shit. You can't park. What do you mean? Well, it just looks like you're a shitty parker with the semi. Like, are you, are you new at being a semi truck driver? Who is it? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with Verizon Wireless. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I absolutely am. Why would you say I'm not? <laughs> Ask me if I'm a city truck driver. <laughs> well, I, like, first you tell me you drive a flatbed, and, I mean, that's just, that's got to be embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so are we, are we done with this conversation, or... Uh, I do guess. You have some doubt? I... Oh, no. I, I was I was just in your account just now. I just changed your phone number by accident. Because I figured you were going to say yes, so I had it open on that page. It's on the change number page, and I I hit the, the buttons. I'm so sorry. You have a new number now. No, no, I don't want a new number. Oh, no, I'm, it's already done. I've already changed it. I'm so sorry. What the hell's going on here? I I didn't mean to do it like um and I don't know how to change it back. Like I think once your number's out of the system, it's got to sit there for 6 months before it can be reused. So we can give it back to you in 6 months from now. What the hell are you up to? I'm not up to anything, sir. I just I I was just calling to find out about if you wanted your number changed cuz we were looking at your GPS. All right, I'm, we, I'm done. Okay, well, I just I'll changed see. I changed your number. I'm so sorry. Do you want your new phone number? No, fuck no. Um, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Okay, well, sir, you don't have to yell at me just because you're insecure about what kind of truck you drive. All right, see ya. Sir, 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 yeah. do not hang up. Do you want your phone number? No, I don't want it. Okay, well, you're going to have to call somebody that you know, and they'll tell you what the caller ID says, and that's your new number. I just changed it. I'm so sorry. All right, see you. Oh, I just put you... Oh, sir, I'm sorry. I just I just put you on a family plan. Like the extended family plan. Bob? I'm hanging up now. Bob, I'm, I just, I'm sorry. You're going to get some new phones in the mail. You're getting iPhone 11s. Now you're gonna now you're gonna look even more girly than <laughs> just with that truck. All right, man, I'm done with you. See you. Well, you keep saying that, but you never hang up. Why don't you hang up the fucking phone? <laughs> All right, see you. All right, hurry, hurry up and hang <laughs> it up. Hang it up. I am not having a lot of luck with prank calls today, and maybe I could have gone about that one in a better way. I thought about calling up from a truck stop and telling him he parks like shit. I probably should have done that. Whatever. Thank you, Bob's son, for sending this one in. Here's one from Jimmy. He wants me to call Michael. And under prank premise, it just says a brand new car and a trip to Vegas. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm supposed to pretend I'm one of those scamming telemarketers and say, congratulations, you've won a brand new car and a trip to Vegas. I'm sure Michael will believe that. Hello? Michael. Yeah. What? Why don't you hang up that phone? What? 
Just hang it up. What phone? Your phone. You hang, hang it up right now. No. Yeah, I order you to hang up the phone. I don't, I don't want to, no. Oh, you better hang up that phone. No, no, I'm not. I'm actually not going to. If you don't hang up the phone, I'm going to hang up my phone, and then your phone will hang up. No, I, I don't want to hang up my phone. You hang up your phone. Try talking into your phone so I can understand what you're saying, idiot. <laughs> hey, he hung it up. I win. But I never got around to talking to him about the brand new car and the trip to Vegas. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I have this list here from Molly Cactus. I called most of them. You guys remember that guy, Greg, I talked to? Greg the Philosopher. He was from this list of number. And Molly actually emailed me back and said, Thank you, that was funny. Here's a picture of Greg. And asked me not to post the picture, but he looks like what you would expect a university professor to look like. I should call him back and tell him April Fools. But no, that would turn into a 20-minute long conversation. Let's call up some other people from this list. Hello? Who is this? This this is Steve Dave. I'm with T-Mobile. I was calling about your number. We're getting ready to change your phone number. Why? Is this Diva? Who is this? This is Steve Dave with T-Mobile. We're about to change your phone number, this 9100 number. We're going to change it to a new number. Oh, this is a wrong person. Well, is this not Diva? Why are you answering Diva's phone? Diva? Is your name Diva? No. Oh, well, we're changing this phone number. I'm not sure who owns this now, but we're, uh, we're changing it. 9100 is reserved for uh, businesses because it, you know, it has two zeros on the end. So we're changing your number. Well, that didn't work out very well. What the hell, Molly Cactus? It's not Deba's number. Is that even a real name, Deba? Anyway, that's the only one I can get to pick up on Molly's list. Still got a couple numbers here that I haven't gotten to pick up, and I will come back to them someday. Here's an old request. It's from 2019 from Rabbit, and he says, please do this after December 25th. Yeah, no problem there, because, uh, oops. I actually starred this one, you know, like you can star your emails, and I put a star on this one hoping that would draw my attention to it and I would remember to call a little bit earlier in the year, but nope, I'm calling it here in April. Uh, my stepmother, Michelle, has this dumb habit for keeping the Christmas wreath up until February. It's so dumb and I think this would be funny to say City Hall or Public Works and tell her to take it down or face a hefty fine. She'll probably be doing a lot of drinking because it's Christmas vacation. She may yell at you if you push your buttons, and if you can spoof your number, use the City Hall phone number. And he gives me their address, and yeah, a bunch of information. Okay, let's call up Rabbit's stepmother. Hello? Hi, Michelle. Yeah. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave with the City of... Yeah, hi. Hi. Did you um, get that wreath taken down yet? I don't know if they contacted you about that. They sent you a letter... The what? The wreath. They sent you a letter in February and told you you needed to take down that, that wreath off your door. Oh, it's been down, yeah. It's been down for quite a while. I okay. never got a letter, though. Oh, no, we sent a letter out. We, we told you, you know, it's, it's fucking February. Get the wreath off the door. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, it's been down. Okay. Yeah. Do you think maybe um, this coming Christmas, maybe you could have it down by, by the first week of January? Sure, no problem. Because you're making the entire city look like a bunch of hobos. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no problem. Well, no, you're you're being kind of condescending toward me. I'm I'm serious. You're, you're making uh, I, no, I, I, you're making I this look like a I, poor city. You leave okay, your, I'm your, sorry. Leave your wreath up for months at a time. What's wrong with you, woman? Sorry. Can you give me a sincere apology? I'm sorry. Okay. Can you say I'm sorry, Steve, Dave? I'm sorry, Steve, Dave. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the sincere apology, Michelle. You're welcome. Are you going to take down your Christmas tree, too? I mean, not just the wreath. You know, take, you take down everything. Wait, what, wait, was that her? i got to rewind. Are you fucking kidding me? 
That's not her, is it? Is that her son? Or did she just take the phone way away from her face to say, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, maybe that is her. It's hard to tell. Either that or it's a uh, rabbit who's like, what the hell? I submitted this prank like a year ago or something. Or October 9th of last year, I guess. He's just mad that I didn't prank her while the wreath was still up. I bet you the stepmom is searching through her pile of mail on the kitchen table right now, looking for the letter from the city. Thank you, Rabbit, for letting me prank your stepmother. Let's look for another old request. I'm going to go back to 2018. Oh, here's a list from Apocalypse of uh, radio towers, you know, cell towers, which it looks like I've already gone over the list. A lot of these people didn't answer. I can't remember what happened in the previous show, but he has a bunch of ideas here. Let's call some people that own cell towers. Control, this is Randy. Hi, Randy. Is Scott around? Yeah, he's on another phone. Who is this? Oh, this this is uh, Gary from the city of... Hold on a second. Can I help you? Oh, well, I just needed to let you all know we're getting ready to move one of your towers. You know, where? Um, it's the one, it's on, um, Um Hum Road. Um and Um, okay. No, it's Um Hum. And we're sure. just, we're, well, you're wrong. I work for the city. I don't care. Anyway, we're just going to move that tower, uh, you know, just a little bit down the road. It's, it's in the way of a project we're working on. We're going to put it on a, a truck and just kind of scoot it down the road. Uh, like around the bend. Where are you moving it to? Uh, on the same road, Um Hum Road, but it's going to be just kind of about a, a mile away. Are you setting another tower or what? Oh no, no, we're just um, we're just going to move this one. Give me your phone number. The, so Scott the, can call you back because this isn't making sense. Well, no, we're just going to move it. Look, the mayor he wants to build um, like a, a summer home there. Like, right where all those trees are. He wants it to be right where the tower is. And he doesn't want the... He's, like, afraid of of radiation and stuff. He's a weirdo. So, but he's going to build his house well, on... Well, never the mayor not a male, so... The, the mayor's husband, okay? But anyway... The mayor's not married. Who the hell well, who, you? who the fuck do you think you are? You don't know the mayor. You don't know that much about the mayor. I said, no, I hadn't. And he played uh -oh. it for me. This is Scott. Can I help you? Hey, Scott. This is uh, Gary from the city of... I just needed to let you know we're going to be moving this tower on Um Hum Road. Okay. Mount I have um no hum. idea what, what tower. Uh, it's a, I don't know. It's a big cell tower, I guess. It's a tall okay, one. Well, I'm gonna, okay. What, what do you do for the city of... I'm a little confused here. Uh, I work in the mayor's office, but um, the okay. there is no there is no cell tower in Umanum. <laughs> uh, okay, well, yeah, that, was a, that was a funny joke that you just told and laughed at. Apparently, um, it's yeah, a big no, tower. There is no, it, there is no cell tower. In okay, Umanum. whatever. I don't know my towers. It's a big tower of something. It's a big pole up in the sky. It's an antenna. Hell, if I know what it is, but we're but moving I'm, it. I'm, we're putting it on well, a truck we and we're moving it. We don't have one. I, what are you moving? That's what I'm trying to figure out. This big pole thing that's sticking up in the air. Where is it? It's, it's on it's, Mount Amino? Yeah, the the other the other lady the. One well, that's, my sister, my sister is was answering the question, but I'm really confused. Oh, she's of, a bitch. What? <laughs> okay, so you're an asshole. I don't really what? think you work for the city. No, do you? I, I do work for the city. I'm just letting you know we're moving this thing. She's, there is no thing up there. She seemed to know where it was. Um, let me see. I'm looking at it right now on Google Maps. I can see it okay. sticking up in the air. There's white buildings around it. The whole thing's an eyesore. It's got a big old fence around it. It looks like a prison. We're moving it to a more secluded area. Okay, so you're just a little fisty. Oh, you're a little crazy. Okay, hey, thanks for calling. I appreciate the I'm joke. I'm not crazy. Bye. Why do you say I'm crazy? It's a very tall tower, you guys. I'm looking at it. I'm not crazy. I can't tell what it is, though. It's definitely not a cell tower, because it doesn't have those little triangle things on it. Maybe it's just an antenna for something? Good afternoon, crew. Hey there. Um, I was calling about a tower. 
Like, do you have any towers available to rent out space on? Uh, we have one tower in Tilden, mm -hmm. Texas, okay, uh, and McMullen County. Uh, I'll tell you. Let me uh, let me have your name and number. Sure. And and I'll get the. Who are you with, by the way? Oh, and I'm just uh, independent. You know, local scientist. Like, I want to put a uh, um, a thing on the very tip of the tower, though, and it's going to attract a bunch of lightning at all times of the day and night, even when it's not lightning. It's going to attract lightning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't worry; it'll uh, it'll absorb it. It, it won't uh, hurt. It probably won't hurt the other antennas. Well, I tell you what. Why don't you give me your name and number, and I'll uh, I'll. Uh uh, it's 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 our customers' equipment. I'm worried about. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm pretty and sure it'll work. Uh, we've got a lot of cellular companies on there, and I doubt. But go ahead and give me your name and number. Well, see this this will work like a like a, a lightning rod. You know, it'll it'll absorb right. it'll absorb the lightning. The thing is, it's going to attract lightning. Um, it's going to just kind of create lightning and bring it into the tower. Okay. Well, that, yeah. Well, is, is the tower near, like, buildings, or is it kind of out in the middle of nowhere? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a very small town, and this is just outside the town. Oh, okay, so it's, because I'm, yeah. I'm thinking what's going to happen is in the immediate area around the tower, um, it's going to probably make ghosts visible. It's going to make what visible? Ghosts. You know, they're not what real. You? Ghosts, you know, like, like... You know, d dead people. <laughs> okay. I'm serious. Gonna... It's it's uh, it's gonna draw a lot of energy, and it's gonna it it's just uh, just in the immediate like within a half mile radius, I would think. Okay. okay. Well, where are you, where are you trying to do this? What area of, of just anywhere? Yeah, yeah, anywhere is fine. It's just uh, just a test, just testing some things out. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to make an executive decision and say we're not interested. Oh, well, I mean, look, this thing's going to um, basically make free electricity, so it, it could power your little, power your, well, your well, how communications. how much money are you willing to pay a month? I don't know. That's what I was calling to find out is how much it costs. Uh, it's just that, and it, it's also, it works kind of as a free security if there's going to be ghosts hanging around. That's probably freak people out. Okay. They're not going to break uh, into your buildings. Well, I tell you, can you afford like five thousand a month? Oh yeah, yeah, no problem at all. And you're you're an individual, and who are you with? Uh, I'm just an independent scientist, local scientist. Okay, are you getting grants or what? Oh no, no, it's uh, it, it's going to generate free electricity. Um, have you ever heard of the Wardenclyffe Tower that uh, Tesla made about a hundred years uh, ago? No. Oh, uh, it's based on that. They're they're making some others around Texas. I yeah, I, I, I can pretty much tell you, guy, we're not interested. But I, I I'm, appreciate. I'm not, I'm not your guy, you chief. I'm sorry. I'm not your guy, chief. Don't, You're not my my guy. You chief. you I don't you, know. you called you called me guy. You're being very condescending. Being kind of an asshole. Oh. <laughs> you, you haven't heard me be condescending yet. Oh no, I just did. You know what? I'm going to have to make an executive decision here. I don't want to do business with you. Fantastic. You, you can't have my five thousand dollars a month. Or I my, appreciate or my free electricity or free security. And the ghost, yeah. You, you well, I, well, good luck to you. Oh yeah, I really yeah. do wish you luck. You know what? When, when when I'm successful with this, I'm going to call you back and laugh at you for not cashing in on it. Okay, well I'll tell you what. What's your name? No, and that way I'll no, know to expect a shit. call from you. No, huh? I'll, I'll just I'll remember to call you. I'll save your number. <laughs> you do that. I appreciate your time. Okay. You have a good day. Good luck to you. I I refuse to have a good day. Don't tell well, me what to don't, don't tell me what to do, motherfucker. <laughs> You're a character. Who is this? There, I hung up on him. Fucking asshole. You know they actually are building one of those Tesla tower things in Texas to harness electricity out of the sky. I wonder how that's going. I saw a video about that a year or so ago. And Apocalypse suggestion was that I invented a weather device. That's going to attract a heavy amount of lightning, even when it isn't storming. Or I want to harness lightning. I think the Wardenclyffe Tower did the opposite, didn't it? Don't they shoot electricity into the ionosphere or something like that? I don't know. I ain't no scientist. 
Hi, this is Wendy. Hey there. Is this the tower lady? <laughs> tower lady? Yeah. <laughs> Properties? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one. Hey, um, I, yeah. I climbed up one of your towers last night, and I put a, a flag up on top of it. And I was just wondering, like, um, I, I hope you guys don't remove it or anything. But um, if, if you do, can you give it back to me? What kind of flag? Uh, it's a President Trump flag, like Make America Great Again. It's for the election. I was hoping it could stay up there till November. Um, you're going to have to talk to um, someone else regarding that. Okay, because it's a huge flag. It keeps getting caught in the little cellular antenna things. Um, so I, I, yeah, probably. I would assume it should not be up there. Oh no, it's it's uh it's it's vinyl. It's it's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. But I'll have you call um I'll give you a person to call. Okay. Um Kevin All right. And the number is two eight two. Okay. What what tower are you talking? Uh it's the um one hundred and tenth Avenue in Bismarck. Okay. Yeah, I, I climbed up to the top of it last night, and I put the flag up there. It's a huge flag. Are you joking me? No. Huh. It's pretty impressive. All right. Well, I will um, have you call Kevin on that one. Okay. But, I mean, like, don't take it down, though, because it's, it's for the greater good, you know, it's to promote President Trump so he can well, get reelected. private property, though. Yeah, but, you know, it's for... The, it's a good cause. Well, I can't make any promises. Okay. The, our owner will have to decide on that one. Okay. Is Kevin going to answer or is it just going to go to his voicemail? Um, that's his office number. I'm in a separate office. Okay. What's um, your, than what, he is. What was your name? So, Wendy. Okay. I'll tell him you gave me permission. No. <laughs> absolutely not. Oh, no, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, you want to yeah. bet? Because I'm getting ready to call him. Uh, go ahead, call him. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm hmm Goodbye. You better answer. Towers. Hey, is Kevin around? He is not. Oh, where is he? Who's calling? Uh, this is Brad. Brad, what company are you with? I ain't with no company. Um, I climbed up one of your towers last night. I put a flag up there on the one on 110th Avenue. 110th Avenue. Yep. Which city? In Bismarck. Okay. So I just wanted to let Kevin know and make sure he doesn't take it down. Um, the best thing to, the way to communicate would be to send an email. Uh, I don't have email. I'm not allowed on the internet. It's the terms of my probation. I'm not allowed on the internet. Sorry. Okay. It's like okay. Kevin's just, not just hanging minute, up. Just what? a minute, sir. I'm trying to get some information here. This is highly unusual. Okay. No, it's just a flag. It's like a really, really huge flag. But, I, I climbed up to the very but, top of the tower. And Okay. And did you have your safety harness and stuff for that? Yeah, I'm not stupid. Okay, Brad. I made, I made one myself. Okay, hold on. Let me see if John can help you, okay? Okay. Is it is it actually, are you going to get Kevin and he's just going to say he's John so I won't know you're, you were lying, that he's not in? Do you want to talk to John or not? Sure, I'll talk to John, quote-unquote John. Hello, John speaking. Oh, hey, Kevin. Um, I'm, I'm calling about your tower on 110th Avenue in Bismarck. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, this is in Kevin. Kevin doesn't own any more towers in Bismarck anyway. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> there is towers there that we have signs on mm -hmm. that um, when we do a routine, we just put them up, uh, signs so nobody else climbs them and stuff. But, yeah, we do not own any towers out in Bismarck. Okay, well, I climbed up that tower on 110th, so that's, that's not you guys? No, that is not our, just, our tower. You're just trying to be misleading with your signs? No, it, it isn't misleading. It's kind it of is, misleading. No, no, it is not misleading that it is, is not our tower. I mean, I, I called it, here thinking it, it was your tower. 
No, and why would you climb that tower? Uh, to put a flag up on the very top of it. And why would you, did you get permission to be on that tower? No, of course not. No, Nobody's so, going to let okay, me up there. Okay. Yeah, and that is a federal offense. No, it's you, not. It's not a federal offense. Is. You don't yes, know what you're is. talking it's about. A, and you don't know what you're talking about. It is a communication tower, and you do not have permission to be on there. You sound like a damn idiot. I was just And you sound me- like an idiot, too. Um, you know, when I got your number, I think I am going to be contacting the FCC. You're just jealous and, because you didn't think of it. I, I put a Trump flag up there. No, it, it, it sounds like you're you, the idiot. Do not call back here. <laughs> that guy got pissed and it wasn't even his tower. He just wants to be a tattletale. Report me to the FCC. Tower group. Hey there. Um, I, I have a question about one of your towers in Cradfordville. Where at? Cradfordville. Georgia? Crawfordville? Georgia. Crawfordville, Georgia, yes. Yeah, same thing. Right. Um, I climbed up it last night. Oh, you did? Who are you? Um, my name's Brad. I just, you know, I climbed up to the top and I put a flag up on top of there. It's it's vinyl. It's not going to damage anything. But uh, I just want to make sure, like, you guys don't steal my flag. Cause this is an expensive flag. I paid like four hundred dollars for this flag. How tall did you? How far? How tall? How far up from the ground did you go? Oh, to the very top. You know, you could go to jail for that. No, probably not. Oh yes, you can. I'm the president of the company. Well, I I, I didn't get I, caught. I well, I, I tell you what. Uh, how did you get into the site? I just jumped the fence, but um, like it's a it's a flag for a good cause. It's a you know President Trump flag. It's for the reelection. I'm hoping it can stay up till November, and then I'll climb back up there and I'll take it down. <laughs> I wish you had to tell me that. Why? But anyway, what uh, I don't I don't mind the flag, but if it interferes with anything that we have uh, operating, that's operating. That's an R. That's an RF radio station. Yeah. Is, uh, were those cell things up there, or, or what are those things for? Those are those are for radios. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I looped the flag hook things around the antennas. Okay. Uh, but I think it'll be fine. You know, they're just metal hooks. Well... It may be or it may not be. Uh, it, as soon as I get my field tech out there, what I'll let you know. Well, should should I should I climb back up there and maybe use plastic hooks? The answer is the answer is you should have never went on that property. Well, is I mean I didn't hurt anything. I didn't I didn't like you know damage any fence or anything like I did at the last place. I you know I just climbed the fence. That's all. It doesn't make any difference. I just put carpet over the barbed wire. That sign is posted. What? That sign is posted. Yeah, but the sign was, it didn't look very professional. Looks like Jed Clampett made it. I thought it was a joke. It's not a joke. Oh, did you make the sign? We have a sign maker that makes our signs for us. Oh, geez. And uh, we enforce them, too. We have sent one guy to prison for going on that what, uh, for what did one he do? year. What did he do? Climb one up, year. What did he do? Climb up the tower? Uh, yes. W- what was his reason? Did he put a flag up there? Uh, he was crazy. Oh. Thought he could fly. Oh. Well. But, uh, but basically what... Uh, did he jump? No. We got him off. Someone saw him and got him. We got, got the police out there and got him down. But, well, that's why I went hey, at night. I didn't want anyone to... Catch me out there. I'm not stupid like that guy. Well, the other thing, I got your phone number, so I'll go from here, okay? What do you mean? What's that mean? Is that a threat? What? No, that's not a threat at all. Well, I don't know. What are you telling me you got my phone number? Being all weird about it. Damn it, he just would not get upset with me. 
Let me try him right back. Tower okay, grid. look, I'll take the flag down. I'll take it down. If you're if you're gonna be a little bitch about it, I'll take the stupid flag down. You could take the flag down and do it as soon as possible. So you're giving me permission to climb up the tower? I'm not giving you permission to climb well, up the tower. Well it sounds like you just did. You just said take the flag down, do it as soon as possible. We have a guy that's going out there, it's headed out there. Right now? Uh yes. What what for? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna climb up is he gonna take my flag? That's a four hundred dollar flag. You should have thought of that before you put it up there. Well, it's what was for, your it's, reason for putting it up there? It's for the election, for Trump. I want Trump to win. Every, 99.9% .9 of the Americans want Trump to win. So Bullshit. But the point is, is that you... Where did you get that figure yourself. from? You endangered yourself. No, I didn't. I know how to climb things. I used to do jungle gym and stuff when I was in school. Okay. Okay. Look, I'm, I was just kidding about it being a Trump flag. It's a, it's a Bernie. Hello, <laughs> sir. I don't even know who the other candidates are. All I can think of is Bernie, and I called him back immediately. Like there was no time for him to send a guy out there already. He's so full of crap. I'm gonna call him back one more time with a different phone number. Tower group. Hello, um, this is Carol. I have a question about one of your towers. I was wanting to see how much it costs to rent space up there. Where at? Um, the one we're looking at is in Crawfordville, Georgia. Yes, are you associated with the Nazareth Academy? No, why do you ask that? I just got a call from another guy. Uh... Huh. The answer is no. You want to put a flag? What? A f How'd you know that? I was gonna put. A, I want to put a Bernie flag. I saw that there's a Trump flag up there, and it's coming down. Well, yeah, I want to put a Bernie flag up there, though. Bernie the for is no. Bernie for president. The answer is no. Why are you letting your your own personal politics affect your business? No decision. It's not. It's not. That's that's not it at all. That tower is uh, active. Mm -hmm. You could fall. No, I'm. I'm not going to put it up there. I'm. I'm an old woman. I'm gonna. I want to rent space from you. I want to pay a monthly fee to put a flag up there, right above, right below the Trump flag. Shut the fuck up. Who are you telling to shut the fuck up? What? Who, who did you just no, tell us? I, I was telling someone in the office. To, 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 the answer is she bugging me on this phone call. The answer is no. And if I, I find your flag, it'll come down. No, no I want to I wanna rent space. I'm not going to go up there and put a flag no, on my we own. No, we, we do not rent space. Wait, so are you it's, telling it's, me to shut the fuck up or someone in the office? In the office. What, what were they saying, that you had to tell them to shut the fuck up? To hang up on you. Oh, yeah, let me talk to that person. Ah. I'm pretty sure that guy was the old man from the Corn Dog Man. Didn't he sound a little bit like him? I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I guess my previous phone number that I used was from some Nazareth church because he thought I was with some Nazareth organization. I'm really liking this flag idea. I, I need to come up with different flags. I could just say I have put a flag up of an anarchy symbol or something. Telephone number four seven. Looks like the rest of these are not answering, though probably because of the coronas. A few of them had messages on their machines. Said they were closed down because of the current situations. So I think I'm just going to be done with the show. This show took me two days to put together. I was getting terrible answers yesterday. I really wanted this to be an April 1st show. Just because yesterday was the anniversary of Grouchy Old Man, I think. And then today, in the middle of calls, the power goes out for just 30 seconds. And even though I have a UPS hooked up to my computers here, I guess the battery's dead because the whole thing just shut down within a few seconds. So now I've got to order a replacement UPS. I lost a prank call, by the way. That's what I was getting at. One of the prank calls that I did today, right before the power outage, it didn't get saved. It's gone forever. Maybe it's in my asterisk system. I don't know if it saves every call in there. I don't think it does. I am too lazy to go check, though.
I really need to work on these requests, though. I have 531 requests from you guys, and quite a few of them are lists. I've got classified ads from Reggie from 2018. I should call these up and be like, you know what? I changed my mind on that stuff I bought from you two years ago. Oh, look at this. It's a tropical plant. I'm going to be like, this, this thing died. I want my money back. I want my $125 back. Let's see if they'll answer. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. But no, I'm, I'm done with the show, okay? I'm, I'm getting ready to do voicemails. Right after this person doesn't answer. Hi, this is Carmelita. Fuck. Email message, phone number. She sounds hilarious, too. Why couldn't she pick up? Anyway, voicemails. Hey, Roy. This is Billy Michaels from Washington State. Long-time listener, first-time voicemailer. Uh, I'll make this quick because I know, I know how you like it. Yep, um, I like it I quick. was listening to the last episode, the Mr. Bob Donnellina's Wonderful World of, you know, yeah. episode 40. Whatever it's And called. it says in the description, in today's show... But in the actual audio, you say it's 2018, so I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Are Sorry. You, um, are you, like, recycling some old shows, yeah. or is this actually, like... That's what Mr. Dabalina's wonderful world of prank calls is. It's all of the best calls from whatever shows and prank call albums and stuff. Like, what, what is going on here, man? I need to... Sorry. You know, I'm a longtime fan... I'm thinking about donating 20 bucks a month. I don't know. You better. But um. But what? Yeah, you can cut this part out. I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to okay. be like. Okay. All right. Um, bye. Voicemail's way too long. Yeah, maybe I misspoke or something on the latest World of Prank Calls show. But I know I was playing some calls from 2018, which is pretty normal. I just I chop up old shows and I find the best calls out of them. And I turn those into World of Prank Calls episodes. It's basically a trick to get people into my stuff. You know, make them think that all of my stuff is good. When you here at the Snowplow Show, you know that half the calls on this show are garbage. World of Prank Calls is meant to be a short show that has nothing but good pranks in it. But its real purpose is to get people listening to this show. Hey, Lumberjack Pat, with your toilet debacle, I had heard that if people flush... Uh, flushable wipes that can back up your system. You don't The other say. thing I don't think anybody uh, mentioned. You know, the flushable part of wipes, they all say flushable. They're not flushable. Even if they say they're flushable, they're full of shit. Is if you listen to the most recent episode, or I mean the most recent season of um, Shameless, there's a contest that's about the Hobo Loco and couldn't help but think about you. I think everybody should go and subscribe to that cactus. Yeah, Hobo Loco, everyone, on Shameless. I completely lost track of that show. I think I'm about 10 seasons behind or something. Hey, Brad, this is Phil from the corporate office in Wisconsin. Hey, Phil. Uh, I was bored the other day, and I was digging around on the PLA website, and I found a page where you reviewed some movies, which is cool, because I've been looking for more movies to watch. Oh, yeah, hacker um, movies. Much to my dismay, I saw that you don't like the movie Hackers, and that really bums me out. Yeah. I know you're real into sneakers and whatnot, and you gave that a good review, but you said Hackers sucked, and it was terrible. I don't yeah. think Hackers is terrible. Yeah, it's, it? it's not terrible. I just was never a fan of the movie Hackers, and I remember renting it from a video store years later and giving it another shot. You know, maybe it'll be good just because of nostalgia, but no, I still hate it. That's a pretty decent movie. Garbage. They do some cool stuff in it. I mean, the the part where they're in like a like a three D like shitty polygon. I don't, yeah, I don't even know what they're that's, like. That's what I hate. They're about. hacking the Gibson or whatever. You know, you know what I'm talking. That was the worst about. part. Anyway, it's a good movie. I don't I don't think you gave it a fair shot. Your little review. Uh, stay safe out there. See you later. Yeah, I did those reviews like a really long time ago, and I'm searching on the website. Hey, look, the corn dog man is on there. It's phonelosers.com slash hacker underscore movies. I was just talking about the corn dog man today. Wow, this page is garbage. I just put links to movies. Oh, they're affiliate links. Back in the 90s, I probably thought I was going to be rich putting these affiliate links to DVDs of movies that you can buy, but that hasn't happened yet. Okay, so I was just wondering how often you emptied out the uh, voicemails on the machines you got going, because uh, oh, I machines. got into one, but all I found was my own message, and I think I 
ended up deleting it. <clears throat> Good, thank but you. But I, I was just wondering. I appreciate that. Because, uh, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm sorry for calling to the voicemail too much. I'm, it's okay. I, I, yeah, blah. It's Whatever. all right. It's fine. Uh, all right. I'll all right, bye. Out. Yeah, some of you might not be aware of this, but you can break into answering machines that are in my kitchen. There's 11 machines hooked up to it, but I think two of them are broken, so there's nine machines right now. I have to replace another phone router to fix those other two machines. If you want to give that a try, it's 505-608-6123. I don't empty out the machines as much as I should, and I think sometimes people are nice. They call in and they empty out the machines for me, because on some of these machines, when they fill up, you just can't get through to it anymore. Or I know at least one of them is like that. So I do need to go down there and just kind of empty out the machines in case any of them are completely filled up right now. But I've been noticing a lot of people calling into the machines lately. And it looks like, I don't know if this is the same guy. This is a different phone number, though. Hey, Brad, I was wondering if uh, when people call into the, uh, the answering machine grid, if you actually notice it. If like crazy or something, because I don't crazy. know what the other night or like every night I get really sad and I call in and I'm like, "Hey, bro, bro there." <laughs> no, I don't. So, I don't hear it. It's I've. If I couldn't turn down the volume on the machines, I actually opened up the machines and cut the wires, so I wouldn't hear people yelling at me through the machines. Go and pick up, pick up, pick up, pick know. up, pick up, pick up. Also, do you have any tips for people calling into the answering machine thing? Because it's really fun uh no no just just do it okay bye. call the answer machines play around on the system 505-608-6123 hey roy this is jen from Poughkeepsie, new york hey hey roy i'm just calling to tell you you need to do more of those comcast old print calls the comcast print calls you need to do more of those all right all right roy it's, it's a deal this is a shout out to you roy i love what you do i love your show Thanks. keep doing what you're doing Thanks. have a good night i will all right motherfucker i'll do so bye. much more comcast calls Hey, butthole winker, it's Brad. Hey. hey, um, you know how you're always saying you're a Christian? Um, you know, I kind of doubt that you're being totally honest. What? So, I've got a question for you. If there, <laughs> if there was only two religions in the world and you had to join one, and one of the choices was the, the Church of Carrot Top and the other one was the Church of Kenny Loggins, which one would you be a member of? Oh, Carrot Top, definitely. I mean, neither of those people are things that I really actively follow. You know, I don't listen to Kenny Loggins, and I don't watch a lot of Carrot Top clips on YouTube. But at least with Carrot Top, you know, it'd be hilarious, either intentionally or not. With the Church of Kenny Loggins, you know, you'd just be hearing a bunch of old songs that you're bored with by now. Hey, Brad. It's Princeton. Hey, it's been a little Princeton. while since I called, I know. Uh, I just wanted to say that I know you wanted to avoid this whole coronavirus mess, and I think you did a good job. And yeah, you're right. We're all here to just escape, you know, <laughs> escape reality. Some yeah. of us are, like, so tired of hearing about it. And then we listen to your podcast, and it's really great. But, you know, now you finally decided that, yeah, there's not really any any point in avoiding it because, you know, it's just around 24-7. And I just wanted to say, the calls are really good. I was afraid that, like, Thank you. maybe you'd cross the line or something or make me feel, like, too uncomfortable about it, you know. You know you I still to- plan to do another Corona show, by the way, everyone, because I still have not, I barely even looked at that list of ideas in the Facebook group. I'm going to do another Corona show. Make any health fears or anything. But uh, anyway, I was just saying yeah. that um, the one thing that you could do. The other shows have been great about that, too. Like, they're having fun with the coronavirus, even though it's a horrible thing and people are dying. But for the most part, everyone's avoiding actually scaring people with the coronavirus. It's just like waste of going into stores, swinging a stick around to keep himself properly socially distanced. And I can't even remember what Dwight was doing. One advantage is that when you're calling from a business or some other official place, from a what? Oh, and business. like your phone number doesn't really say what the business is, like if you use your number of 420 6969 they just say, oh, well, uh, I'm calling from home. You know, I'm home from self-isolation. So that's oh, yeah. why my number's different. They just right. have to use my, you know, my regular cell phone to call you. Okay, great idea. Thanks, Crimson. Hello, this is Arbitrary Alex. I'm from Canada. I vote Oh, for- that's not Arbitrary Alex. I recognize his voice in an instant. Don't be impersonating Arbitrary Alex. Hey, I was just wondering if you'd 
grew up on just basically dessert drinks like I did. Like, I couldn't go a week without drinking oh, yeah. A&W root beer, something like that. Just, like, this unhealthy yep. shit. It's probably why I'm so fat to this day. Nothing but Pepsis and Cokes for me. I'm just one of those fat phone losers. All yeah. Right? Just wondering what your favorite... Welcome to the club. Uh, well, you drink Diet Pepsi. You're totally zero calories. You know, you're so thin and fit. Yeah, yeah. Just that... like me. All right. Diet Pepsi is working out great for me. I'm the picture of physical health. But yeah, I drank soda nonstop for pretty much my entire life. I've managed to completely stop drinking soda for up to a year at a time. A few times over the past, I don't know, 10 years. But yep, that's my primary addiction is Pepsi. Hey, I think I have a low ping effect on, so I'm like chopping up like Navi guy. Where's... Where's... Yep, <laughs> there you go, cutting out. All right, I think that's it with the voicemails. There's just a few left. I'm finally caught up on the voicemails. So, woo Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Omni, Christine, Audi Love, and The Real Crazy Kraz. They support me on things like Patreon or New Project 2 or YouTube. And you should, too, by going to patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support. You get extra shows, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just extra shows. Totally worth it. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I'm going to play a song by Great Big Pete. He sent me an email. He said, It's been a while since I made a song for you. I used to go by the handle of El Hombre, but now I call myself Great Big Pete. That's awesome. I did not know you were the same people. I liked all those old songs by El Hombre. I made you this song called Why Did You Hang Up the Phone? Hugs and Kisses, Great Big Pete. Thanks, Great Big Pete. I will play your song right now. What'd you think of the new intro linear? Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> so, okay, right now, I'm not making this up. That guy from last week is calling, so I'm adding him. Hello? You know, my dad is a judge, and you guys are really stupid for doing, you know, what you're doing. I'm what, telling you. What are you. I'm being very honest. What are you talking about? My dad is Judge Colin. If you look on the computer, you'll find it. Who is this? Judge His last name is Colin. Colin. You got me, pal. I'm getting the phone calls from you, and I'm not stupid. I'm not, you know? I'm not calling you. I, I, I th- yeah, you know, you're an idiot. Why don't you grow up? No, I'm really and not I, calling I, stop you. Stop harassing. Listen, why don't you stop, stop harassing, harassing me, people? sir? I did. Why don't stop you stop calling harassing me? And harassing me? me. Yeah, you're the one that called calling me. You all night. I'm going to be calling you all night, man. Stop harassing me. My judge me. got you covered in New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> And you know something? You can get eight to seven years, eight to ten years for this. Eight to seven? what you're doing. I'm telling you, for harassing and nuisance? We're not you calling you, so sir. Much. You're the one hey, calling us. You want to so go, on phone, you wanna go on phonelosers.org? Go for it. You want to put it on the radio? Is that your website? Go for it. Are you the you one who owns that website? They've been harassing me. I got you covered, man. And I'm going to harass you until you stop harassing me. I got a so phone from- call. You're from phonelosers.org? You know, you, you, you know, you don't want to grow up, do you? Do you run phonelosers.org? You, you, you really you don't want to grow losers. up. You've run phonelosers.org and you've been harassing us for that website? And you're oh, admitting yeah, it? I have, huh? Oh, yeah. I got you on my caller ID. You have okay, a caller so, ID? 
<laughs> Hello, sir? He hung up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he knows about phone losers. Oh, he found that I, I think this is Space Bison's fault, because I think he might have been calling him just now. Good times. So this guy knows he's on the radio. Okay, he's calling back. Hello? Go on the computer for Judge Colon, and you'll find who my dad is. <laughs> you said Colon. You're screwed, man. You said Colon. Hello? Sir? <laughs> he hung up twice. <laughs> he showed us. Probably just uh -huh. I mean, did a web search for the phone number. Is he listening to the show? Please stop calling, hey, sir. I'm, try I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to sleep, sir. Yeah, good. I'm going to wake you up, you motherfucker. Up. <laughs> what time Wait. is it? Did he call back or was he listening the no, whole no, time? No, he no, he didn't. He he wasn't listening. He just now called back. Okay, here's a call from the old man again, but it's probably just somebody spoofing. Hello. Call from Cortell Slip. To accept, press one. To send a voicemail, what? press two. Hello, not old man. Hello. Got you, man. We got you. Got ya. No, you don't. I got ya. Hey, I'll play the game, man. If you want to play the game, do. I really will. Let's I play have the, no problem with it. Let's play the game. Dun, dun, hey, dun, I don't, dun, I'd dun, rather dun, not dun. play the game. I'll tell you the truth, because it's so immature. What game, what Chris, is, hang up the phone and go to bed. Look, now I don't want to go to bed. I'm not tired. You got me grounded. I'm, I'm not talking, talking to you. Man. I'm talking to Chris. Hey, fuck Chris. I'm having a good time. Are you? Chris, who are you talking to? Google? Get your ass in bed and stop playing on the phone. It's some old man hey, from the internet that keeps calling me. Chris from Google? Man, he's lucky if he has a job tomorrow. I'll tell you the truth. He still thinks I'm from I Google. I got a lot of shit going on, man. I got the police. I got the FBI. They know who you are. What are you guys stupid? <laughs> They're going to arrest what Chris. You? No, really. Why don't you grow up, man? It's not fun. Why are you is calling really, us then? Is it, <laughs> hey, listen, it's not fun. Then why it's do you really keep doing stupid. It? You need, let me ask you, you something. You need to go to bed, okay. sir. Hey, let me ask you something. Okay, okay? seriously. Ask me something. Let's say your mother is eighty-eight years old. You need to go take and care of her and stop harassing people. Is, let me finish. Dan. Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. Let me finish. And she's on her deathbed. And you get a call at 3 o'clock in the morning. Look, I know where you're going with this, and yes, I would smother her with a pillow. You would flip out, wouldn't you, if you get a call at 3 o'clock in the morning? No, he said... Sir, he are you even listening to me? I said I would smother her with a pillow. Yes, it's the right thing to do. Go ahead. You know something? You're an idiot. Grow up. We got you anyway, you're so I'm not worried about it. You're the one that needs to stop harassing us. <laughs> He said sweet dreams. I thought he wasn't going to call anymore. Wow. Hello? I'm going to keep you up all night, man. No, I'm Alan, trying to... I, I, have, got I got school tomorrow, man. <laughs> hey, think of eight years in jail, okay? So doing what you're doing. Okay. Receiving phone calls? <laughs> Colonoscopy. We can go to jail for answering I'm your calls? Colonoscopy are it. not illegal, sir. Doing? We're answering There's your phone calls. wrong with the colonoscopy. It's bizarre that he's harassing us and telling us we're going to go to jail for it. <laughs> Hi, old man. How, how old are you, sir? I'm not an old man. You, you, look, you. you look I'm old. I'm not an old man. You looked old on the news. Look old? How do you know what I look like? Because we saw the news report on you. You saw the what? The news report. We saw it. You were on the news. the news report, and I'm an old man. Are you so old you, you forgot think, that you're on the news? Let me ask you something. What do you think is old? I don't know. We're all we're all like eleven. Why why don't you grow up, really? <laughs> because I'm eleven. How old hey, are you? Really? Why don't you, you grow up, up, man? You're the one pranking well, I mean, us. <laughs> we will grow no, up. You guys I mean, are the one that's doing this shit. You're the one that's calling us, you retard. No, you called me. I have plenty of phone calls calling after twelve o'clock at night. Really? You've been I calling us on stop, sir. You were doing it. Our phone rang. Our you phone guys are having a game, and you guys are stupid for doing something like this. It's really ridiculous. Sir, you, you know, know that we up. have the record of you calling us nonstop tonight, right? And well, that's we are good. Recording. I'm glad to hear that. So how old I'm really are, glad to hear that. How old are you, because sir? you know something? I have... I, none of your business. 
We just None of your business how old I am, but I'm not an old man. Sir, you're about 83 years old. We saw the hey. news report. Oh, good. You're ready to die at any moment. You're probably going to have a heart attack tonight. I'm going to you know, have a heart attack tonight. Yeah, you know why that's funny? Because you did have a heart attack a while back. How do you know that? Because you told Chris. I what? You told Chris about it. I told Chris? On April Fool's Day. Are you so I told that Chris that I had a heart attack. Yeah, we remember. Are you so old that you forgot? How come Chris's answering machine says Google East? There's not this part. It's <laughs> part of the April Fool's Day prank, you don't, fucking retard. Don't, told you that on the Google. Google. Don't you get it? It's <laughs> part of the prank. And, and you saw it on the media? No, we saw a news story about you. We saw About it with the, the calls that I'm getting from Google. That's right. Are you really not so calling why, us? Is somebody so like, let, me ask you, let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? We're, we're Why are you doing because your you're prank calls. calls? What? No, we're not. We're answering the phone and you're yelling at us. That's you prank No, no, calling. no. You called you're me. You're going to get you, sir. You, you called me a couple of days ago. No, you called us. But you're calling us no, tonight, right? No, I have right? it on the computer. Okay, fine. I have it on the computer we, that you called me. We admit. You, I have it on the like toaster. I, I have it on our toaster that you called us. Our toaster yeah, has a 6.5 no. out of 36 megahertz crystal. It doesn't lie. I don't know who you are. Uh, okay, I wait. wouldn't call I'm you unless you know who I am. Looked at. <laughs> wait, I wouldn't know call are, you unless you, you call me. Are you saying that you're? Well, we're not. Are you saying that you're not calling us tonight? Your phone is ringing. Oh, I am tonight. Oh, okay. You bet I am. I thought someone was three-waying you onto us. No, I'm definitely calling you, and you know something. I okay, so you're Jones to harass. I have Sergeant Jones here, knowing and hearing and recording what's going on. Has he got one of those? Jones is recording you harassing us. <laughs> I hope he arrests. I'm not harassing you. Has he got you one of those big reel-to-reel tape recorders? On hey, the... listen, listen. All right, you know it's Just illegal to record phone calls. Shut without the our permission. fuck up, man! You got a mouth on you. You're an idiot. <laughs> Grow up, idiots. man. You guys have a problem. You really do. And Sergeant Jones knows it too. Can, He's can, right here, standing next to me. Can and he knows what's going on. Can he say hello? And he's listening to everything on my recorder. Tell him and to I say got hello. You guys recorded, so tell have Sar- a great day. Tell Sergeant Jones to say have hello to us. Hey, I, w- I wish you the best of luck and have a fun time. I really do. I want to talk to Sergeant have Jones. A- You're not talking to nobody. Because he's Goodbye. not there. <laughs> have a good time. He's not there. <laughs> wow. So I guess he doesn't want the Sports Illustrated issue. <laughs> Apparently not. Five minutes. Oh, hey, Jamie. Here's the three of them were me. Here's the yeah. old. Here's the old man again. Hello. Call from Courtney Slip. Okay, so say, stop, press one. Say hello, Jamie. Send a voicemail. Press two. Hello. Yes, Chris. There, may I speak with him? Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. He's asleep right now. Can I help you? Uh, it's, it's He's asleep. I just spoke with him about two minutes ago. I'm. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, are, are you sure? No, you're not sorry. I want to speak with him. I just spoke with him a couple of minutes ago. Excuse me, sir. Can you put him on the phone, please? Excuse me, sir. This is this is a private house, and my son. Yeah, I know that. Can I speak with him, please? No, I'm not going to let somebody like you talk to my son like that. Who do you think you? Oh are? no! Why not? He's supposed to talk to me like that. Can I speak with him, please? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. All well, wake him up. Wake him up. I want to talk to him. Yeah, wake him up. Wake him up. I want to talk to him. Wake him up. I'll go and wake you up. How about that? What's that? I'll, how about I go there and wake you up? I'll wake your kids up. What do you think? Yeah, you wake me up all the time, so I want to wake him up. Why don't you wake him up? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Yeah, please. I need at somebody else's house. Don't give me that stuff. I know he's at somebody's house. Don't give me that stuff. Tomorrow. Do, you, do you understand? Yeah, why don't you wake him up? I want to talk to him. He wakes me up. Hey, he wakes me up. I want to talk to him right now. Thank you. Please. Put him on the phone. Otherwise, I'll put the, I'll put the sergeant on the phone. You hear me? I'll put the sergeant on the phone. I'll put the sergeant on the phone. Then put him on the phone. I'll, I'll talk to the sergeant. Maybe he, he makes a little bit more sense than you do, Mr. Tooth Fairy. Yeah, this is, John, John, this is Sergeant I... John. Can I help you? Hello, Sergeant John? <laughs> what is yeah, this is Sergeant John. I'm getting harassment calls from this guy, Chris, and I want to talk to him.